Hello everybody, JT here, back with another video. This video I will show you how to engrave in GIF cams. I will show you engrave on the flat surface and I will show you how to engrave on the round part. So let's get to it. Let's create something here. <clears throat> All right, so just create a new file there. Uh, first one is to let draw some model. So this is just flash block, right? Okay, next one is draw some geometry okay so with this geometry you can extract it from the uh, model of you can make your own um, this one I usually make my own because sometimes most of the time it just you know engrave a part number or uh, you know I identification number or something like that but if you have like a logo or a pocket engraving or something like that it will be different but that you know if you have something special and then you have to extract geometry out from a model but for me for this video um, just do some uh, quick contour engraving no pocket or anything so Next one is uh, draw geometry, right? So you go in here, you go engraving, um, go uh, that, and it will pop up this window where you fill this one out. So this down here, the text, whatever you want to engrave, you put it down here. Uh, this is the size, this is location, this is where you want it to be in the center of x, y, 0 origin on the side for this part. We do this. Space between them, between each character is 5,000. I put 5,000. But let's say if you want the text deeper and bigger or you want bigger too and then you should put some more in here like bigger space and each word is about 10,000 apart so and then down here the next line whatever you want it to you know the space between each line this is where you put it down but for me I think for this video I think just one line so that's good enough and then text shape where or how you want it look like it can be like a curve straight from left to right right to left or top down or bottom up something like that so just pick one and then try and see what the tech look like the way that you want or not and you can you know pick different one but you I just do like from for this one it's just from uh, left to right so that should be it. The more important one is the font, right? So in GIFCAM, when I engrave a part number or something symbol, I usually use this font right here. More pack, okay? Just pick that font, click do it. So that what it look like. So with this one, this geometry, it just like connected like. So when you do engraving, it just you like contour to pass and cut it. Uh, yeah. it you will see what it look like when I do a two pass. But let's say we pick some random two, I mean random, random font. 
and see what it looked like. As you can see, if you choose something like this, it will be like a pocket. So this one is good when you um, want to do something uh, like something that the model has already. But for me, for this video, I just want to do quick. So this one you have to do pocket and then you have to use flat end meal and meal this one out and something like that. Take a long time. So just show you real quick here. So now pick a two usually, you know, bar and meal is good. Uh, since I put only 5,000 each character, so it doesn't have a lot of room, so I just pick this one. But let's say if you have a 62 uh, bar and meal in there, you can, but it's not going to go too deep. Therefore, when you select bigger two, you should give some more room in here instead of 5,000 that I put it in there. Just so it doesn't look crowded when you engrave it. That's all. Drag it down. Contour. Okay, so always you contour. Uh, fit and speed. That's good. This one always zero. Uh, you don't want to leave anything. So everything here is zero. Okay, so if you don't, if you clean this surface, top surface already, and that's your Z0 is, you can just leave a little bit up there. So when it fit down, it doesn't, it fit down slowly with I here instead of it go right. If you put on a zero here, it will go right on it. Sometimes, you know, it break the tool. So it's just safer to do entry fit slow and give some room up here so it fit down. It doesn't break the tool. Everything else is good right here. Let's see. Yep. And round corner. Sometimes when you see this one checked, you should uncheck it. And everything else should be good. And just ship and then drag. You mount drag the whole thing. Do it. Let's see what it look like. As you can see it's just a contour to pass it so it's really quick. All right, so that when you have like a flat surface, right? And then that's easy. Let's show you how you can do a round part. Let's see how do we draw a round part here. Let's draw some thin ground let's see something like that right That's not long enough. Let's do
All right, so let's say if you have something round like this and you want to engrave this one on, it's not gonna work. So, Oh, oh, where does it go? Okay, let's just draw something that... Oops. Pick the right font. Right, let's just... Let's say if you have something like this and you want to engrave on it, let me show you if it work or not and then we can do... Right, so as you can see, it's not gonna work when you uh, do the same because this one is round. So this is how you do it. So let's pull this model out. So first, select the whole model. I mean, select the, the text, select the geometry of it first, right? And then you press down control and then you hit the model too so you select the geometry and also the 3d model and in here contour we go into change something here in solid you want to do the check project part and then give it i don't know minus three or more if you need to and then just redo it and see what it look like here I think it should engrave no okay I think I know why because in here I don't put it deep enough right so since we only put the Z uh, minus three minus three thousand, so it's not gonna go deep enough. So let's change it. Let's see to point two, and then redo it. So even though you put it pretty deep down, but the two paths look for this project 2D two paths down to the surface only 3000 so it should engrave good now and you can see even though you put it like half in or one in down it's still engraving that much on the model because it look for the surface right and then it offset 3000 down from the surface it's not going to go like half in down or 3.3 3, like i put 0.2 or 0.3 inches down into the part so this is how you engrave on a round part make sure you check this and you put some down here whatever you want it if you want deeper let do sick and you can see it will engrave much deeper and not a whole lot but still deeper than than the the, the previous two paths right so whatever you want you can uh, go that much but just make sure if you don't have a flat surface and then you just check on here and then it will engrave for you. I think that's it for this video. I uh, hope you guys like.
get and learn something uh, let me know uh, if you have any question or anything and yeah make sure you uh, hit the like button on my video so youtube can you know promote this video for other people to see it and therefore we can you know all learn together thank you for watching and again make sure you subscribe to my channel see you guys next time goodbye now